what is show choir? It's crazy, first of all, and it's full of crazy people. Over the years, I've been kind of a part of show choir since my sister was in it, and so five years about is when I, is like how much, I guess, show choir life experience I was given just because of my sister, and it is, it is honestly its own culture. It's just this crazy phenomenon, and I think that it's growing because it, it is such a great opportunity for kids. I think that sometimes performing arts gets a bad rap because, oh, they're like the band geeks or the org dorks, the choir people, like, they're so weird and they're artsy. The thing about that's, I guess, that struggle is, you know, embracing that because there is nothing wrong with being in the performing arts department. I personally think it's something more special than a lot of other things. You know, we had a varsity soccer player, we had varsity cheerleaders, we had student government leaders, we had all these different, we had people who were in band and choir, you know, we had all these different people. I guess the main struggle would just be overcoming the, the dorky stereotype of performing arts people. But something that was so beneficial about that stereotype is that we had so many people that broke it. I just remember being with that group and just the emotions were so high during our last times together and it was really special and I just I think we got so comfortable with each other and you do that you know in show choir anyway because you sing really loudly and you embarrass yourself and you dance with people and you get close to your dance partner I think the most rigorous or tedious part of show choir is cleaning and cleaning is the stage between learning and performing. So after you learn the choreography, the choreographer comes in and teaches you everything and sets up all the layers of the dance and you learn all your music. But then the dance captain has to, at rehearsals, clean the choreography. So you have to make sure everyone is doing exactly the same thing, whether your hand is like a jazz hand or blades, or sometimes our choreographer called them pretty fingers, or you have to make sure that everyone's legs and arms are the same angle so that when you look at the picture on stage, it is identical and symmetrical on both sides. Whether you're singing on a stage or making a public speech or picking, you know, pitching a marketing you know, presentation in your business class or in the business world in the future, show choir will give you that confidence and that will give you that stage presence and the ability to capture people no matter what form you're doing it in. And I know, I mean, there was a struggle. I, know, I don't remember if it was my sophomore and junior year, but there was a threat to cut the budget and they voted against it, thank God, because so many people fought back. And I, I mean, I would have to fight back if that happened. I don't know what I would have done without it in high school if it encouraged me to, to do what I'm doing now, which is studying music. The performing arts department at that high school is something like none other. That department changes kids' lives. There are kids who don't have a place and they go in there and they find who they are and they are accepted for everything that they are. Yeah, there are gonna be soloists and people are gonna get leads in the musical, but in the end, you are all working together and you are all doing that. And that, that community is something that you cannot find in any other, any other department in a high school, especially somewhere like Carmel where there are so many kids and if you find a place and someone rips that home away from you, you wouldn't have a place anymore. Thank you.